Franco wanted the pass. It never came to him. Cheney. He stripped of the ball. Endo. Now Jovinko. Jovinko curling shot. Whoa, baby! Wow! It's 1 0 Toronto on a wonder strike by Jovinko. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back today to a brand new informed player review from FIFA 17. And today we are going to be looking at the first informed, but not his first special card for the Atomic Ant, the Pocket Rocket, whatever you want to call him, Sebastian Giovinco. If you do enjoy this player review, lads, as always, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. But without any further ado, let's get stuck into this. So, of course, he is the Pocket Rocket, and the reason for that is that Giovinco is standing at a very, very small 5 foot and 5 inches tall. His work rates are high medium, he's got 4 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot and as we start to look at some of his base card and in game stats this card is absolutely electric. He's an 85 overall rated striker, he's got 90 pace, 89 dribbling, 83 shooting, 81 passing, 65 physical and 30 defending and his top 5 in game stats are 95 agility, 95 balance and 91 acceleration. That there is just a recipe for good things to happen. He's also got 89 ball control, 89 curve, and not quite making it on there as well. 89 free kicks. Uh, the tracks and specialities that this card comes with, he's got flair, technical dribbler, long shot taker, corner specialist, and the finesse free kick stance. And uh, as we look at the team that we used him in, you can see it's a, uh, it's basically a Serie A team. We linked him up with the Italians in that league. Of course, he is originally from the MLS. You can see in the five games that we played with Giovinco, he came away with actually seven goals and two assists. It says six. One of them went down as an own goal, bizarrely well. The guy touched the ball just before it crossed the line, but I'm going to say seven goals and two assists. And as we start to get into some of the clips of him in action now, I can honestly say, lads, he's just everything you expect from a Giovinco card. He's absolutely outstanding. Outstanding. The only weakness that he's got is the lack of strength, which when you're using a Giovinco card, you've got to expect it, haven't you? He's not going to be holding off defenders with, with pure brute strength. He's a very weak player, but... He is just incredibly agile. His dribbling is next level. He's absolutely outstanding. And as long as you can get the goal side of that defender, they're not going to catch up with you because he's just acceleration is absolutely blinding. So if you can get in goal side of that last man, no one is catching up to him and his finishing is very, very decent. He's got everything that you want in a striker, really. His pace is fantastic. Movement and positioning is fantastic. And his finishing is solid, like I've already mentioned. And when you've got those three, thing com those three things combined, sorry, the pace, the movement and the finishing, you're always going to have a great, great, great card. Combining that with the fact that he's got the four-star weak foot, which is fantastic. He's got the four-star skill moves, which is fantastic. And on Xbox right now, you'll see, you may have seen I paid 100,000 coins for him. He's currently going for less than 70k. I feel like if this card was in the Premier League or the Spanish League, if it wasn't in, like, a, no offence to the MLS here, but it's not, like, the most popular league to use on FIFA, this card would be going for well over 100k with the stats that he's got. So he's a bit of a bargain, in my opinion, especially when you can link him up to the Serie A quite easily, like I have in this team. But um, overall, we're going to be giving him an 8.4 out of 10. So, such, such a strong card, lads, at striker. The positives, as I've already mentioned, incredible pace. You're going to see that in the goal that you've seen in the background here. Look, he just burns past the one defender, gets knocked off it, but just carries on and then chips it over. And this is the one that actually went down as an own goal as well. The defender, ju defender just touching up before it went over the line. But as I was saying, pace, dribbling, movement, finishing, free kicks, all absolutely outstanding. The only weakness is his lack of strength. And overall, we're going to be giving him, as I've already mentioned, the 8.4 out of 10. That just about wraps up this play review, lads. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and it like I said at the start. I will speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Need you out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.